I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my subscriber based on ratios. The question here is, the ages of Adam, Ben and Selah are in the ratio of 5 is to 7 is to 11. Next year, they will be in the ratio 8 is to 11 is to 17. How old are they now? So I'd like you to pause the video, answer this question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's talk about present age first, right? We need to find their present age. So the three persons involved are Adam, Ben, and Silip. Since the ratio is in 5 is to 7 is to 11, it means what? It means that they are all multiple of some number, right? So it could be taken as 5x, 7x, and 11x. Right? So this becomes their present age. Now what is going to be the age after one year? So after a year, they will be one year old, right? one year older than this. So it is going to be 5x plus 1. This is going to be 7x plus 1, 11x plus 1. Right? That is after a year. But at that time, the ratio of their ages will change and it will become 8 is to 11 is to 17. So that is how you have to view the equation. right? Now how do you solve it? Well, to solve this question, we can always write ratio as a fraction, correct? So we get two equations from here. You can solve either one of them to get your answer. So when we say that 5x plus 1 is to 7x plus 1 is 8 over 11, right? That is what we are trying to say. We could write this as 5x plus 1 over 7x plus 1 is equal to 8 over 11. You get it? So we could write it like this. Now once we write it like this, it is some equation in terms of x and there is one equation so it can be solved. So we'll cross multiply and then solve this particular equation. So let's cross multiply and solve. You can actually pause the video now, continue with the solution, then check your answer. So when you cross multiply, it becomes 11 times 5x plus 1 should be equal to 8 times 7x plus 1. Now that is 55x plus 11 equals to 56x plus 8, correct? Now we can take x on one side, numbers on the other. So we have 11 minus 8 equals to 56x minus 55x or 3 is equal to x. So we get our solution. We get the value of x as equal to 3. Okay. So that is how we could find it. Now, once we know what x is, we can find their present age by substituting x equals to 3 here, right? So when I substitute x equals to 3, I get my solution. The three ages are what? Let's call them A, B, and C. Their ages will be 3 times 5, which is equal to 15, 7 times 3, which is 21, and 11 times 3, which is 33. So that is our answer. So our answer is their ages are 15 years, 21 years, and 33 years. Correct? So that is how you can actually solve. Now, let me tell you one more thing. You can also check your answer. How do you check your answer? Well, you know these are your ages. You can add 1 to these ages and check if it is really in the ratio of 8, 11, and 17. Perfect. So you could do it on your own. But I hope you understand the solution. Correct? Now, you could have also solved the second part of it. Correct? So, I would like some of you to solve and verify. 
So the second part here is 7x plus 1 over 11x plus 1 is equal to 11 over 17. Cross multiply and check. That will also give you x equals to 3. And then you can get the same answer. Right? So I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. So let me thank the subscribers for watching my videos and posting such questions. Thank you and all the best.